there, I'm Jen, and this is Roving Crafters, and since it's Sunday, that makes this Sunday stitch. And you know what we're going to do this Sunday? We're going to conquer the double pointed needle. Yep, we're going to knit in the round on a set of double points, just like this. I can tell you that I've been teaching knitting for long enough to have heard more times than I can count. It looks like you're knitting with five needles at one time. You know, it only looks like that. There is nothing there. If you can knit, if you can knit back and forth, there is no new skill that you have to pick up to knit in the round on a set of double points. What you have to do is wrap your mind around it. And that's all. That's really all we're going to do today. We're going to wrap our mind about around how to knit in the round with a set of double points. And you have to use the power of ignoring. <laughs> we'll get to that. And then I'm going to start um, a new project on double points to show you how you get started. But I wanted to lead off with an established piece because it's a lot easier to see the technique this way. Here we go. I have all my stitches on four needles so that it forces the piece into a square. But of course, it's really in the round. It's nice and round. Here is the last stitch that I worked. Look at it like this. So if this is the last stitch that was worked, that makes this one right here the next stitch. And if this is the next stitch, then the needle that it's on, this one, is going to become my left-handed needle. And the other ones, you ignore them for now. They just hang there. Like that. Okay, so if this is my left-handed needle, this empty one will be my right-handed needle, and then using the power of ignoring Ignore that tip. Ignore that tip. Certainly ignore this one in the back. And just knit. I'm going to knit across this needle, which I'm holding my left hand, thereby making it the left handed needle. Aha. Ignore this tip. It's just hanging there. It's just in your way. It's waiting its turn. Here's my last stitch on this needle. And once I pull it off, that frees this needle up to become my right-handed needle. This is the last stitch that I worked. That means this has to be the next stitch. So every time you finished off a needle, you Turn the piece and put the next needle in line in your left hand and get ready to knit. And of course knitting with a working yarn in your right hand and your left hand. That's not, that's not important. That's not the issue. As I said, there's no new skills here. You're just knitting across a needle using two needles at a time turn the piece this one is now ignored this one's now in play I keep knitting. now I recommend that until you get comfortable with this technique that when you're starting start with wooden double pointed needles bamboo DPNs the metal ones they have a nice slick finish and that can work against you when you're just when you're just learning how to use double points but with a bamboo needle and a reasonable tension your stitches won't fall off and I do think that that is one of the fears that a lot of knitters have when they take on a set of double points that all of these tips is a place for stitches to drop off on them not going to happen. I promise. Get yourself a nice set of wooden we've points. Practiced on this. Let's get started with a new project. A whole new set of Okay, now we're ready to go. I have my yarn end 
found, ha ha, and another set of five double points. I'm also going to ask that you find, use something as a stopper. I like to use little foam beads because when you're casting on for a project with double pointed needles, if you can at all manage it, it is so much easier to cast on and cast on all your stitches onto just one needle. Squish them all on there and then we'll spread them out onto the other needles. This is just a cast on. You can use any cast on technique you like. I'm using the long tail. and I'm going to cast on 32 stitches. 32 stitches, spread them out on the four needles and put eight on each needle. But you don't have to watch me do this. I'll let you skip okay. ahead. Here I've got 32 stitches and they're all squinched up onto this one double point. What I'm going to do next is slip them off, not all of them, but most of them, onto four, onto three other needles so that my cast on occupies four needles. Go. Take my stopper off and slip purlwise. We always slip purlwise when we're just slipping because to do otherwise, to slip knitwise, twist the stitch. So I'm going to slip one, eight stitches, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doing this on camera is always a test to see if you can count and talk at the same time. There I've got eight stitches slipped off onto a second needle and you just let it hang. Push it around, let it hang. Four, six, seven, eight. Make sure that we have eight left. Two, four, six, eight. Great. So now it looks kind of like that. Like a set of secret toys, right? All right. Now, intermediate step. You don't have to do this. If you're Jen, you definitely have to do this. A little tie, like a little, comes with your bread or with your bagels. I need that. I need that for my tail. Otherwise, I will knit with my tail every single time. Get that out of the way. Now, let's get this started. Here's my cast on, stretched out, spread across all these needles. Now what I want to do is arrange them so that I don't twist. If you've ever seen that line in a pattern that says join to work in the round without twisting. Okay. When you cast on, you have the loops and you have the bottom of the stitch. I like to think of that as like a little ridge. And I want my ridge to point inside, to always point on the inside. And that way I know that they're not twisted. Once you've got it all arranged and your stitches are not twisted, this is the last cast on. This was the first cast on. Your first knitted stitch has to be the first stitch you cast on. And by pulling the working yarn from here to here, that's the join to work in the round. So this has to be my first left-handed needle. And I have to be ready to work with it, of course, like this. Like so. Give me some yarn to work with. And by knitting that stitch and pulling it tight, you've joined to work in the round. And then keep knitting across this first needle. And ignoring all the other needles, it's like any other kind of knitting project, the beginning is the most fiddly. And there's quite a bit of fiddly going on here, but you just have to ignore it. Worked off all the stitches on that first needle, so it pulls free. It becomes my right-handed needle. And then I turn. And you're joined and going. 
and all you have to do is keep knitting. And you'll be knitting in the round on a set of double points.